of key role of system dynamics programs like Minsky is to build models of dynamic systems. And the essential thing there is you're talking about something which changes over time, which in integration terms you'll say the rate of change dx uh, dt, the rate of change of x with respect to time is some function of various variables potentially including itself. And the simplest possible model of that is population growth. And the way these programs work is they convert a differential equation, ddx or ddt, into an integral equation because integration is a more numerically stable operation. So they all these programs, VizSim, Simulink, I think Stella, etc., and of course Minsky, <coughs> use an integration block. And that's the one I'm highlighting right now. So if I click on that block, I can then locate the summer on the canvas, and if I then right click and choose edit, let's just say I'm talking about a population of fish. And I'll give an initial value, let's say there's initially there's 100 fish. So that's now an integral, we're ready to do an integral equation of the number of fish. Well, you're going to have a fish growth rate, which is going to be a, a parameter. So I'll just bring down a constant here. And let's say this is, uh, let's actually make it a parameter. Well, they, they notice there's four types of variables there, constants, which are straight numbers, parameters, which are a name like uh, fish uh, uh, growth rate, which I can ch change over time, a flow variable, which is something which might, you might derive from the number of fish, and then an integral block, which is what fish itself is. But I'll make this a parameter and just call it uh, f, and I'm going to put an underscore here, and in curly brackets put gr for growth rate, and close curly brackets. That does something which lets us use a subscript. Let's say the fish growth population growth rate is the number of fish uh, doubles every year. So now I've got f, gr, and I now want to multiply that by the number of fish. Now, uh, here's one of the features which is a, a nice uh, visual improvement for Minsky over things like VizSim and Simulink. You could go up here and click on the multiply block, but equally, you just down here, you hit the multiply key, the, the asterisk on a keyboard, uh, you type the, the, the variable in there straight away. So I now want to drag uh, the, the parameter here and drag the integral block here. Of course, I now need to multiply the number of fish to show the feedback between the current number of fish and population growth rate. And that's a simple way to, to do it with a, a standard system dynamics layout. You simply say there's a feedback from the current level of fish multiplied by the growth rate uh, integrated over time will give you the, the population of fish. So I now bring up a graph plot here and resize this, make it a bit larger and then drag from the front of the icon to the black there and let's just label this as the number of fish and time down here and I'll slow it down a bit because it'll happen quite rapidly as a simulation hit stop just to clear the memory buffer and off you go, there's your exponential growth in the number of fish so that's the simplest start, what I'll do uh, now is add um, interaction with sharks inside there so I'll just stop that now and I'll uh, do that in the next video.